are talking about the newest LDS film that is coming out in theaters this Friday. I have the director and one of the actors here with me. I want to introduce them. It's Chopin Kabambi, yeah. he's the director. And then of course we have Brandon Ray Olive. Just like it sounds, right? Just like it sounds. Just yep. like it Brandon sounds. Ray and he lives here in Utah and one of the actors in the film. You guys, thank you so much for being here. Thank, thank you. you. So we gotta start first. How did this come together with you living in Congo and directing this film and then bringing in, you know, the Utah side of it? Yeah, first of all, this film is, um, this film came from a true story. Uh -huh. Margaret Blair Young, who lives here, mm -hmm. came in Congo and met a Membui. A Membui taught her uh, his story. Okay. And then Margaret found me with this story and we decided to write it together. And we tried to make a bridge between Dear Congo and Utah. I love it. And the, the title of the film is Heart of Africa. Yes. And tell us what it's about. Yeah, the film is about two young missionaries. Mm -hmm. uh, one, Moindo Ngandu, uh, is a, an African, a Congolese missionary, mm -hmm. but he, he grown up in a revolution camp. Wow. And they taught him bad things about white people. They taught him that white people uh, um, doing did many bad things to, um, to African people and something like that. And th yeah, the film is between a internal conflict between the two missionaries. They don't love each other because of the prejudice. Ah, okay. Uh, pre mm -hmm. prejudice. Prejudice. The prejudice. Prejudice. Yes. And then, um, but they have to work together to build a northern edge. But it will be very difficult for them. And but they will do uh, their best to build the. the oh, the interesting. Yeah. And of course, Brandon, you play the companion of the Congo missionary. Yeah, Jason right? Martin, right? And it's um, the the dynamic in the story. I mean, it is there's there's an internal conflict that's going on. There's an external conflict mm -hmm. that's going on. But it's it's a story of humanity, and um, uh, these overcoming these prejudices to to really um, ultimately embrace and understand and love the fact that we're way more similar than we realize. So it's, it's, yeah. it's bigger than just this movie. It's, uh, it's a story of nations, it's a story of races, it's a story of, of people. And um, this is the first um, Congolese film that's, oh, wow. that's truly made Congolese style. So we have, you know, uh, every country, every nation has their style of cinema, German cinema, French cinema, right. American cinema. Um, and this is going to be the first taste of what Congolese cinema actually is, and this is the pioneer. How right neat here. to bring yeah. it together! Congratulations. Thank you. Now, tell me, as far I mean, you live in Utah, but uh -huh. transporting yourself to Congo for these five weeks of filming, what was it like? It was uh, there was culture shock for sure. Oh, I'm sure. Yeah. Uh, major culture shock. Um, uh, there was fear. There was trepidation. Um, mm -hmm. There was also excitement, mm -hmm. and uh, and it was just one of those things where, from the get go, after reading the script. Um, s in meeting with everyone that was involved and, and the anticipation of meeting Chopin right. and the Congolese people, um, I just knew that it was uh, an opportunity that I would be a fool to pass up on because it was an opportunity to, um, to do something bigger than a movie. I love it. Yeah, yeah. The first day it came, we, we were shooting in the, the Mobutu's palace, the old palace of Mobutu. Mobutu is uh, uh, the former president uh, in my country. He was dictator. And it's and his palace? Yes. It was the old palace. It, Everything. It was unreal. Just. <laughs> so it was our, that was our first set. That was our first location, Mobutu's so Palace. So blown away. A hundred percent. Yeah, hundred mm -hmm. percent. But the people, the Congolese people, are truly amazing people. They're beautiful people, and they deserve to have their voice heard. And that's what Absolutely. I'm so proud of Chopin and, and all of his friends and his brothers and, and his people yeah. that have come together to actually mm -hmm. yeah. start to share their stories with the world. And yeah. I love movies like this because I love learning about other cultures. I, big traveler, and so going, you transporting yourself to that culture in through the film is such a way to do it. And I mean, you know, you acting in it, but also seeing it on the big screen, I'm sure you'll feel the same way, it right? Is, it's authentic. Mm -hmm. It's it's 100% authentic. Um, there's there's Lingala, the native tongue um, that we speak in the movie. There, I mean everything that we do. I mean it's when you go to the Congo to make a movie with the Congolese people, you just be of service and see what happens. And it changed my life. So wow. I, I well, certainly hope the same. Very excited to see this start. This opens on Friday the 13th. How many theaters is it in in Utah? Is this something we should go to the website and it's find a, it's it? It's going to be playing at uh, Cin Cinemark as well as Megaplex Theaters okay. uh, throughout Utah. Great. And we're looking to expand into other markets, so that really depends on everyone showing up and supporting the Congolese people. 100%. And, uh, I'm absolutely yeah. going to be there. Yeah, so this, I film can't wait to see it. this film means many things for me, for yes. my pupils, for my crew, for 
my other friends, filmmakers in Congo, mm -hmm. and you know, as Brandon tell, uh, say, it the uh, first Congolese film to be released here in USA, and that means many things for us. I love it. Well, congratulations. Very, very excited for Absolutely. this. Uh, can we have you do us a favor and just to tag us out, will you say in your native tongue, here's what's coming up next in the native language? In my, my, in my, la my yeah, in Lagala. Do it in Lagala. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, American, you so we have got a film. Na ba cinema nyonso ya ya Etats-Unis en tout cas boye bolam. Ndeko nga. Amanda.